Welcome to Electron Online. When it comes to random variables, there are two main types. The first type is what we call the discrete variable. And there, discrete variable means that typically the value that the variable can have, the random variable can have, is an integer value. It's like 0, 1, 2, 3. An example of that is when we toss a coin, let's say, three times, and we let x represent the number of heads we get when we toss the coin three times. And so the possibility is x can be 0, it can be 1, it can be 2, or it can be 3. Those are discrete values, integer values. So that would be what we call a discrete random variable. We can have what we call a continuous or an indiscrete or non-discrete, I shouldn't say indiscrete, but a non-discrete random variable. And in that case, x can be an infinite number of values. Um, and the amount that it can be is can be subdivided into, well, there's no discrete amount of time or discrete value that we can come up with because it could be anything in between as well. For example, let x be the amount of time a light bulb will last before burning out. So you turn on a light bulb and you sit there and you wait maybe 100 hours, 1,000 hours, but eventually the light bulb will fail, it will stop burning, and that can happen at any point in time, down to the fraction of a second, down to a millionth of a second, a billionth of a second. You really can put a discrete value on that. And because of that, we call that a continuous or a non-discrete value. So you can't just classify it. You can't take 100 light bulbs and classify them. This one lasts exactly two hours, and this one lasts exactly five hours, and this one lasts exactly eight hours, because it'll be probably, most likely, some value in between, and you can't really nail it down. When we come back to what we call the discrete random variables, there's really two different kinds. In one kind, we have a finite discrete, meaning there's just a finite number of values finite number of discrete values. That makes it separate from, of course, when we talk about this type. So, for example, again, when we toss a coin three times, the number of heads when toss a coin three times, that is either a zero, a one, a two, or a three. So there are discrete values, and there's a finite number of discrete values. So it's a finite discrete type of random variable. Or it could be an infinite discrete, meaning there's an infinite number of values, but Whatever the value it is, it will be discrete value. It will be 3 or 4 or 5. Again, it will be an integer number, typically. And so the number of tosses before you toss a head with a single coin, it could be 100 times, 1,000 times, 3 times, 1 time. It's a discrete value, but the number of possibilities are infinite because with a random variable like that, if you toss a coin, it could come up tails a billion, a trillion times before you get a head, and therefore we call it infinite. It's discrete, but infinite, so there's no limit. And here again, when we come to this, in a way it's infinite because there's so many subdivisions you can have, but it's better to say, instead of saying infinite, you can simply say it's continuous. There's a continuous number of possibilities. There's no hard divisions between them, and therefore we call it continuous or non-discrete, like the amount of time that a battery will last and the amount of time that a light bulb will last. Those are good examples of what we call a continuous or a non-discrete random variable. So these are the types, and now we'll go forward using the various types of non, or the various types of what we call random variables.